there's something about mysteries that intrigues many of us. It could be because being left without answers leaves us frustrated and wanting to know more. This was the case for one mother. A little while back I covered a topic about children who draw and said strange things to their parents. Of course it's very normal for a child to create an imaginary friend, but some of these parents felt like it went too far, and there could have been another factor at play. One parent who didn't want to be named sent me the following story. I live in the US with my daughter. We have two pets, a cat and a dog. Before all of this happened I was so happy in my life. I'd had a promotion, my daughter seemed very happy and everything seemed to be coming together. One night at dinner my daughter asked to be excused without eating all our food. This was normal so I didn't think anything of it. However, what I thought was strange is that I could hear her talking upstairs. She was clearly talking to herself but this is something she'd never done before. As I went upstairs I made her jump and she questioned why I was here. After telling her I wanted to play a game with her she refused, which was not normal as we always enjoyed playing games together. This behaviour continued for around a few months and it started to upset me. I couldn't figure out why she changed into someone who didn't want to see me. I understand kids change but this seemed different. I know some people will judge me for doing this but I decided to search her room. After searching for several minutes I could only find the normal drawing she would do, but then I looked under her bed and froze. I discovered my daughter had been drawing what I can only describe as a giant human. What was creepy is that this thing was always on the walls and it didn't look like a typical human. The eyes in this drawing disturbed me the most. They looked dark and lifeless. I decided to ask her about the drawing in a calm manner, but she wouldn't tell me anything. She was hesitant to tell me why she drew these pictures, and what the story behind them was. Children have nightmares so I kept trying to tell myself this is where the image came from. I've looked up online and many parents have gone through the same thing and have said that it's usually just a phase. So what do you guys make of these photographs? It does seem normal that children make up imaginary friends, but have any of you experienced anything like this before? If so, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.